Hey guys, Kev here, and Olight sent me some cool stuff to check out for the month. Uh, big shout out to Olight. They've been a really big supporter of the channel the last couple months. Um, I didn't have much affiliation with them before that, and we've kind of started working together the last couple months. They've been really kind sending me stuff to check out. You guys have been amazing using my lefty EDC code over there at Olight. Check the description. There's a link down there. There's also a link. I usually pin the description also in the comments because a lot of people don't know how to check descriptions. Um, but there is a link there to Olight and you can buy stuff and it helps the channel out. Um, it's been a pretty big uh, support to the channel uh, the last couple months. So it'd be cool to keep that up. And the code over there is Lefty EDC. So they sent me some stuff and I'm excited to check it out. I got a little bit of footage of my daughter trying to open this up. I don't know if I got it because my wife was kind of um, recording it at the same time. And if I can find it and insert it, I will. But it was pretty cool. She was really excited when she saw this. And she's like a flashlight diva. She has, um, I mean... They're not really hers, but she has like the Dapper Designs Ion light that I have down there. She loves playing with this light all the time. So it's just cool. Whenever I have my uh, flashlight in my pocket and she sees it, she tries to grab it. And she loves just lighting stuff up. She has this power brick that has a flashlight on the end. And she just turns it on and has it on for like the whole day. And I don't know. There's just something about flashlights in my kid. And I find that awesome. Anything that makes her happy, you know makes me happy so do you like your new flashlight Bree? yeah did olight send you a uh, i3e e eos yeah. christmas edition mono yeah. output you know what that means it means it only has one it setting so it just hammer. turns on uh, i don't know how to turn it on you probably twist it uh, i tried that here let me see i'll show you Yeah, it's the I, I only way it would that. work. Oh, wait, I think it needs a battery. Oh, you just remove the battery. Wait, what? Here, hold that. Stop recording. Well, you ruined it then. It probably has a tab in here. Okay. Yep, there it is. Did they send you a book? Oh, it's a rechargeable AAA, so not rechargeable, but we can use ours. Anyway, look, Bree. Where? Where? My flashlight. Uh, <laughs> My flashlight. I can turn it on. You gotta turn it this way. Tighten it. Twist it. Oh, you had it. Yep, turn it this way. Like this. There you go. Do you like it better than your other flashlight? This one? Yeah. What's on the flashlight? Yeah. Uh, this is the i3e EOS. So I have opened all these and kind of checked them out. I feel like uh, instead of doing like two videos unboxing and then showing you how they work because I didn't know how they work, I just, I'll just show you the packaging and how they work. So I did have to unscrew this, which is really easy. You just unscrew this guy right here. There is a AAA that comes in here, and um, there's a little tab that you have to just shake out. Now, this is an alkaline battery, so this is not rechargeable, I assume. Um, and you drop this bad boy in, and then you put this bad boy on here, like this. So, this is not a rechargeable, like, USB-C, USB micro, anything like that, like some of their small lights. And it is a mono output, which means it has one setting. So, you basically just put the battery in and you tighten the bad boy down and bang you got 90 lumens right there and it is a very small compact package but you know what it gets the job done and it kind of uh teeters on the line of a pocket flashlight edc light and a keychain light so you can kind of decide what it is for you throw it in a bag a pouch your pocket whatever you want right i did want to kind of test and see if the 10 440s work in this and the next one here so i may test that out in a second but uh this is 
the i3e eos and it is a winter edition so these are probably going to be available leading up to christmas which is really cool for those of you that collect every olight ever well here's another one and for those of you who are gifting this to family members i think it's pretty cool it probably comes in red as well and then it's uh aluminum i assume so let me close this up and put it out of the way and then we can move on to the next one this is really cool. Uh, not going to lie, I saw it and I was like, snap, what is that? And I read it and it said I3T EOS carbon fiber. And I got a little bit excited because it's pretty cool to see carbon furbin in uh, a flashlight like this. I didn't know they could do that. So that was interesting to me. So again, let me just get the packaging out of the way. This one goes up to 180 lumens. It has two settings. So real quick, I'll show you. I'm sure many of you know the i3T EOS pretty well. But right here you have uh, 108 lumens on high and you have five lumens on low. I think that's pretty good. Um, that's a pretty good uh, duo there. I don't believe there's any other modes. There's no turbo or anything like that that I know of. And here's all the information, obviously, if you wanted to pause and read that. So let me drop that in. This is the case. Kind of, uh, I love how they kind of come with like a Apple style uh, of case, which is sweet. And there you go. I3T EOS carbon fiber. Some more information right there. Now, this one, again, comes with a, um, let me just get the cap off. Comes with a triple A light again and a little tab down there you have to pull out. It feels a little bit, in this case, it feels a little bit small for the package, right? Um, like they could have made the flashlight smaller, but I think part of this flashlight is that it's EDC and they want to make it uh, a little bit more hand filling. Obviously, they have the i5T, which is a double A version of this. And that one's a little bit fatter, not my style. So, um, yeah, I like the form. In fact, you can see it's carbon fiber, but it must have an aluminum cage there. And then you have copper back here. And I don't know if that's a brass wire right there or what. But then you have an O-ring that holds it all together. And let's tighten this down. I'll show you how it works. And right there, you got that sweet-looking carbon fiber. I got to say, this is probably my favorite I3T I've seen. I had a titanium one for a while until I gave it away. Really liked it. Um, but this is nice being so lightweight. So you have this tail switch back here. So you just click that bad boy on, and you are sitting at, I believe it was 5 lumens. And then click on and back on, or off and on. And now you're crushing it with that 180 lumens. I got to say, though... When I was uh, watching the kid with this, I thought this light seemed brighter. Uh, but now that I'm sitting here, I can see that is not correct. You can see this one is dimmer. And this is about half the lumens than this one. So let me turn these off. So that one's obviously a twisty and this one has the click. It's very comfortable in my hand. I have a large glove size hand. Uh, fills it out pretty good. You just click down, click off, click down. Very nice. Um, the only downside really to this for me, because um, Olight has great pricing. The i3T is a great product. I really have no issues with the product itself other than the clip. I just don't love these clips. Um, if I could get a replacement clip that got rid of this extra piece that goes onto the hat or whatever. I know a lot of people love this uh, feature. I despise it because what happens to me is it catches on things. I've had this catch on curtains. I've had this literally catch on my kid's daycare bag where I was throwing the bag over my shoulder when I picked her up and this caught the strap and it literally pulled the light out of my pocket. And I remember this was back when I had a, a titanium one. It was when I first got it and I would, you know, to me it was like, I think it was like 30 bucks, but um, I was all excited about it, and I hadn't spent money on a flashlight before, so that was a lot, and I went hunting for this thing. I mean, I went, I walked to and from where I went that night, like, all over the place, and then I just thought I lost it. Two weeks later, my wife found it on the, um, the daycare bag and was like, here's your light, dumbass. So, 
I just don't like this because it can catch on stuff like that. I wish it was an option, like they gave you a secondary clip or something. Um, but I do want to test these with 10440 real quick. So let's just see. I have a few different ones here. So I know the i3T takes it, pretty sure anyway. Um, that is a button top. So I don't know if the flat top will work um let's test that because i know sometimes it's like you're supposed to use the opposite or something so let's just see there that works and then that works right there and i don't know how much brighter that is but it is going to get hotter obviously quicker um let's just try a uh how many do i have a button top one here okay i have one in here though these are the batteries i use for my cwf which is my preferred light so this is a button top which is essentially the same battery as the triple a so this should work you would oh see this is what i'm talking about not sure it's meant for this oh so similar it seems like in the output i'm trying to be careful um uh, but seem like the uh flat top actually worked better right so I don't know if the 10440 is just taller in some way. Looks like it might be ever so slightly taller, and maybe that's why the flat top works better. So let's just see. Put this guy back in. And honestly, if you're rocking this flashlight, I don't see the point in hitting it with the 10440 because you're going to chew through that battery a lot quicker, obviously. And it's not meant to take that kind of heat. Um, I don't know. I just don't think you need it right i think it does bump you up from 180 lumens to like 300 lumens or something like that so it is you know sort of substantial but let's see if it'll take in this guy i know i don't want to fry anything here but do it for the cause you know so let's see bang so you're getting probably a lot more out of this that looks really bright so, but it's going to get hot really quick or again, right? Because it's a lot brighter. And I don't know if this flashlight's known to take these. Uh, I know a lot of people um, are into Olights and they probably know uh, if these have held up to that or if they've fried out. But let's just, you can see the difference. I mean, it's a pretty big difference. So you were probably getting closer to the 180 lumens you get in this stock in here with this. So, um, is it worth a shot? I don't know. It's up to you. You can mess around with that if you want, but I just wanted to show you they do work. So let me put these away. All right. So those are the flashlights. Really, really cool. Um, I appreciate Olight sending those. And I, I got to say that carbon fiber I3T just, I don't know, does it for me. It's really cool. Will it get my um, CWF out of my pocket? <sighs> I don't know. I just love this light so much, and it's just a, a different level of light, in my opinion. But, I mean, you can see why I love both. Basically the same size, takes the same battery, same thickness, and that's the thing. But this doesn't have that goofy clip, and, of course, it's fancier, and it goes up to, I think, 650 lumens. Because it uses that 10440 and it's made for it. So, this is the metal, I believe, not the nettle. Yep, the metal, M E T T L E. 154CM has a G10 handle. It is 3.69 ounces, has a leaf design, as in, that's why I thought maybe it was metal or nettle, sorry. Uh, here's a picture of it open. They do that sometimes on the back there. There you go. And this is a button lock, which is interesting. It came with a coin. So the higher end, I'd say, uh, O-knives, or the more expensive ones, I guess, they come with their own kind of challenge coin, which is sweet. It's got the little button lock. It's got the bird and the flower. And it says, O-knife, folding, pocket knife, metal, which is pretty cool. So you have that. And these pouches actually have a little sleeve for the uh, coin, which is interesting. And then here's the knife. So let's check this bad boy out, then I'll get you guys out of here. Um, so again, you have uh, G10 scales over steel liners, obviously. 
Um, you have the deep carry uh, foldover clip that is not recessed, but the screws are, so kind of 50% there. It's fine. Dead centered, and um, much like a lot of knives these days, guys, this is made well. It's made fine. Um, it does the job. I mean, it's funny how even if you go back like three or four years, you would get knives that were in the budget category, and some of them were just utter trash. Like, they just weren't good you know where nowadays it seems like most of them are good like they're fine there's nothing wrong with them it just kind of comes down to whether the design is for you or not if that makes sense and this is one where the design doesn't really do anything for me it's just kind of really neutral um you have a drop point slash spear point blade i think it's more of a drop point no it's more of a spear i guess um a very neutral handle design it does have that cool leaf pattern it's g10 and steel and it's kind of heavy uh, well, 3.69, but it feels heavier than that, in my opinion, but it's not huge, and it has a button lock, which works fine. Um, it is a flipper. The spring is done well, so it has a good detent, honestly. It's it's strong. It's good. Uh, the jimping, I feel like, needs to be more aggressive because I have missed it a few times, um, but once you get it down, you can light switch that real easily. I don't know if you can... Eh, it's kind of a light push button, so it doesn't really count. I do like how they milled out this pocket right here for the button. You can see that. It kind of sits in there, which is nice. Not perfect, but on this knife with a flipper tab, you don't really need it because you're not reverse flicking, right? You're not going to worry about touching it or whatever. But when it's open, it sticks well proud of that, which is kind of the point of having that cut out for me. Um, if you look at something like the Protect Malibu, that button sits a little bit proud when it's closed. When you open that bad boy up, look at it. It sits flush with that cutout. So now, in the certain grips or whatever, you're less likely to push that and disengage the knife. Here's a size comparison. So I don't know why it's different on these budget button locks, but it seems like on the Malibu, the button is here and then open here. I don't think it's higher. I think it's lower because the button drops in right and then you push it and it pops up where it seems like on these budget models the button sits lower and then when it opens it pops up higher so i don't know it's very interesting to me so i don't know if the mechanism's different or what the deal is with that but it kind of defeats the purpose of having this cut out. But it could just be aesthetic, and it does look cool. Um, it is green, and I guess it's kind of Christmas time, so it makes sense. has a black coating of some sort, 154. And uh, the ergos are comfortable in the hand, and uh, yeah. So if the design does it for you, then I can tell you it's well-made. It's a good knife. I think this is one of their better ones that I've handled, personally. Um, aesthetic wise and function wise, I just, I love a good button lock with a flipper. I mean, I'll take that over a, you know, um, steel liner lock of, you know, with G10 or FRN or whatever any day. Um, and this works well. See that? And drops very loosey goosey, but not like, you know, it's tight all around. It's got a little bit of up and down, but it's a button lock. It's kind of what happens. It's got a little bit of that bearing roll feel to it where you can feel the bear. You can hear them and feel them. But it's probably a $50, $60 knife, so I totally get it. So that is the metal from Olight. Cool little budget option from them. And you have the i3T EOS carbon fiber. This is the standout for me in this batch of stuff they sent me. Uh, shout out to Olight for including this. Really like that. That's probably going to be my backup light or something. And then you have the little guy, the i3E EOS. And this one's cool as well if you want to throw it on your keys. I already have the iThanks on my keys, which is basically a miniature version of this that is rechargeable. This is your AAA version, which for some people I think is important because they prefer alkaline or they prefer, um, they prefer having their own rechargeable batteries, something like that, so they can actually stock like 50 of them and not have to worry about charging something, right? Um, but anyway, there you go. So let me know what you guys think down below. Check out the links down below. It does help the channel. Use that code, LeftyEDC. 
But more importantly, let me know, did you pick up one of these carbon fiber ones? Because I think these are going to be pretty popular, and um, they did a great job on these. I didn't know you could do a carbon fiber flashlight. So um, that got me thinking, and I was like, what if, what if Charles did like a fat carbon micro Arcadian or something? That would be gnarly, or like an inlay one or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there you go. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for checking it out. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you. Hey, later. guys. Kev here. And real quick, I just want to add this to the end of my Olight video. I just got this in the mail. So I think Olight sending me a Perrin 2. I think these are going to be part of their holiday sale, so they probably wanted to get one out to me to show. Um, it's got, okay. Oh, you can turn this into, what is it, a headlamp or something? That'd be cool. That'd be cool. All right, we'll take a look at that. Uh, here's the, wow, a little small guy. Okay, slide open. Okay, we did that. Let's just pull it out. Push it out. Oh, okay, push it out. That's a cool color. Um... Oh, and there's a strap. So, yeah. So, it's a little headlamp slash uh, EDC lamp. That's really cool, actually. Excuse me. So, you got your charger here. Standard Olight style. Excuse me. And then you have this guy. I actually had a full-size one of these. I gave it to my dad, which probably just sits in a box somewhere. But, hey. Uh, is there a... Okay, let's see what's going on. We got a tab. We got a 16. Nope, we have a, what do we got? 16, 340. Sorry, I was right, sort of. Proprietary, looks like. You could probably swap, though, if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. There you go. You got your clip right here. And then you have up here. You have your flashlight. So you have an on and an off. And you have a hold down, on again, hold down, brighter, hold down, low, medium, high, off, or sorry, low, medium, high again. Tap, double tap for turbo. Nope, double tap for red. Got it. Triple tap. Get ready for strobe, guys. Okay, so I'm still just getting... I think I just accidentally... So you're getting red on that. No lockout or anything. Oops. Did you have a flashing red? It was an SOS, I think. Hold down. Solid red. Back to that. Okay. Off. All right. No turbo I'm seeing on this guy. Let me just check. We have instructions. Oh. oh we do have a turbo. Ele uh, 1,100 lumens. Maybe the battery's not strong enough. We'll have to check on that. High, medium, low, moonlight. Which I didn't, I don't think I saw moonlight either. And then red light. So, let's just see here real quick. User manual. Magnetic charging. Table one. Flashlight. Turbo. Blah, 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 blah. Red charging. Figure three. On, off. So, there is a lock. Press and hold. All right. Press and hold. So we just locked it to then press and hold the unlock. Okay, got it. Uh, press and hold for what? That might have been unlock again. Double press. So maybe once it's on... Now you double press your turbo. There it is. Press and hold, and you go to that.
So, where were we? Turbo. So then, turbo, moonlight, low, medium, high. How do I get to... Ah, no, I just turned it off. Maybe this is moonlight. And then... But it just goes back to this. So that would be low, in my opinion. Red light is... Yeah, we got that. Yeah, so I just can't figure out Moonlight. That's the only one. Moonlight, C figure five. Figure five. Press and hold. Okay. It's just rotating. So let me... Ah, got it. Hey, sometimes you got to read instructions, guys. So if you have it on, and then you press and hold... You get rotation, low, medium, high. If you turn it off and you hold, you get moonlight. All right, if you have it on, right, and then you double tap, you get turbo. Man, that was like, I could feel it instantly. And then from off, double tap for red, hold down for the red SOS. Okay, got it. Hey, look at that. We just learned a flashlight. I love this green color. Uh, their aluminum's really nice. They got nice poppy colors on it. So then you can uh, put it in here, obviously. Let's see how that works. Is that the clip that mounts in there? Kind of what it looks like to me. Whoops. Doesn't it look like that slides in there? I don't know. Looks like, oh, it's just there so that the clip, can, if you have the clip on, it'll work. Got it. You just strap it on like this. Turn it like that. Boom. Now you got a headlamp. And take your strap. This is cool because I actually don't have a headlamp. And I've always wanted a headlamp. So um, you just put your straps in however you want, I guess. Yes. It's elastic, so sure I'll do it wrong. <laughs> Have to undo it, but hey, we live and we learn, people. We live and we learn. And we go under here, and bang. We got ourselves a headlamp, folks. Look at that. All right. That is the mini Perrin 2. Uh, guys, I got to say I'm impressed. Easy peasy. Pop it off back into your pocket or wherever you have it right on your bag something like that because this is a good one for on a bag because it has the you know the vertical type light so let me know what you guys think um i'm gonna add this to the end of my uh video about the other lights they sent in and that will also be about the holiday sale so big shout out to olight thank you to them for sending this stuff my way if you guys want any of the Olay products, go check them out. The link is in the description. The link is in the comments. You can use my code LEFTYEDC at checkout. And uh, yeah, thank you. I love you guys. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Peace.